Okay, uh, which brings me to one, uh, some very interesting issues, the conversations that have been uh, in the front burner. A lot of clamors for restructuring and a lot of issues about uh, national unity. In the first place, uh, the president had made a, a, a comment, and a lot of leaders in the nation have also made this comment, that Nigeria's unity is not negotiable. Nigeria itself and the nation is negotiable. Every country is a daily negotiation. So that it is important when talking like that, never to forget that by saying so, you are already negotiating. Because there are Nigerians who have grievances and problems that ought to be solved. When you come at them with this question of no negotiability, you are already actually negotiating. Buhari is negotiating with Nigerians. And he moved it a little further by indicating the only organizations that can participate in this process in a way that is authoritative. The National Assembly, the Houses of Assembly, and the rest, and the, and the rest of them. But speaking seriously, that is still because they are looking at everyday issues. They have no long-term view of the way we should go. Nigeria is not having a minor crisis. This crisis is fundamental. And it is not one that you can solve on an everyday budget-to-budget -budget basis. The restructuring question is more than just a bid for amendment of the Nigerian constitution. Because even if you carry that amendment, there are fundamental changes you need to make. Look, left to me, Every local government is a production center. That production center gives about 40% of what it produces to the state government. The state government, so to say, harnesses what all the local governments have brought together and pays another 40 to the federal government. The federal government should let the state be proper production centers rather than budging into the state systems. Mm. Uh, so would you, what system of government would you be suggesting that, that would be federal. best best fit for us? That would be federal. Isn't it what we are operating right now? No, we are not operating a federal system. What do we operate Nigeria for? is a thoroughly unitarized and therefore debased federal system. So how would you describe? I've read a lot of... I've uh, just described uh, yeah, yeah. what a federal system you, will do. You, you, that you, is to say the local government from, from, created by the states, mm -hmm. serving the states, would give so much in percentile to the state government. And the state government will hand over a 40 percentile of whichever we, we agree upon. So for, for, for you, uh, restructuring is more, of, more economic than political economics? No, that's also politics. I mean, I come from a, uh, from, I come from a local government where the, all the federal, state, and local government rules have completely collapsed. And members of the House of Assembly actually went to the area saying they were doing protest inspection. People who were supposed to take decisions are taking protest in the, uh, I mean, are, are taking protest to the people. They are literally asking the people, take care of yourselves. Now, it tells you how the system has collapsed because it is a unitarized federal system. Unless the federal government moves, all the other Tires of government so, uh, can't it, move. Mr. Femun, from what you have described, your principal, your former principal, your late principal, I talked, and I've read a lot of his writings, especially about federalism, and in the recent and modernized system of federal state, of federal operations across the world, from Canada to the United States to South Africa, and, and, and to some other uh, democracies of the world, uh, is, things have changed over the, over the years. But in favor I, of? In, in favor of the people, uh, in, in favor of production, but uh, culturally speaking, how do you think we can begin this kind of conversation, considering what is happening with Catalonia and what has happened with the Scottish people in England? When you, um, by the way, Chief Aolo always said that Britain was an unnatural unitary state. It was a natural federal state, and that before the end of the 20th century, Britain would federalize, as they have done, by the way, or as they are already doing. It is precisely because the federalization in Britain has not gone far enough that you still have a crisis like the Scottish one. In the case of Catalonia, they've not accepted that the Catalonians have that right of self-governance. Once you begin from there, which is where this question of negotiability or non-negotiability comes into the picture, you damage a people's capacity for production and for self-governance. When you do that, 
they would always insist on fighting for it. Hmm. And what the Catalonians are doing is what very many Nigerians will do. Even in the if face the, of referendum, things doesn't look good right now. Actually, actually, downs and actually by the time you got to the, to the issue of referendum, you are already lo losing the battle for, good for a good federal system. But as it stands right now, if you are, I mean, this is going to be a very difficult position I'm going to put you right now. If you are seated there in the chair as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and a lot of people are clamoring for restructuring, what would you do right now? Boy, you are handing me the only gold I've fought for all my life, which is to say, make Nigeria work better than any other system in the world. Right now, there is one man who stands where it ought to happen, Buhari. And the reason Buhari is the man who ought to be there is that he is trusted by the region that restructuring is all about. The restructuring, let's face it, is about northern Nigeria. How to ensure that it becomes a manipulator of a citizen's logic rather than a conqueror's logic. At the moment, what the north represents in Nigeria's firmament is a conqueror's logic. A logic that cannot be federalized, that can only act on the principle of a unitary system. Well, so and therefore, in, a, in, a, in essence, what would you do? I mean, how, where will you start from? You start, from, you start by conscientizing those who will be most affected. Northerners will be most affected by the structuring. Anybody who, who refuses to look at it from that angle does not know Nigeria. How enough. would they be affected? I will tell you why. Every child in the North ought to be at school. Not doing almagiri on the streets. Not every person. Every, every child, child in. Not the every north. child in the north is almagiri. I'm from. Hey, the north. Hey, 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 hey. I said every child in the north ought to be at school. That is to say, Buhari should take it as a personal responsibility to make that the case. And if there is a, a state in which that is not happening, it is his business school to go there and make sure that. For it example, so. Confa, for example, 2014 Confa. What would you do with it? Would you consider it? The, 20, the, the 2014 com, uh, CONFAB actually has serious problems of implementation, which we ought to be looking at. But because Buhari decided to shelve it and has not given the go ahead for people properly to discuss it, all those problems that ought to, to be talked about are not being dealt with. Right. When I use the word not, I, I use it deliberately. Nigerians are, have been trained not to use such terms because it is divisive. Right. It is not divisive. Mm -hmm. There is a not in Nigeria. And one of the great problems of the not is that the ruling classes have turned the public school system into a place where you give poor education to poor people's children so that they never rise to a level that can contest that's the powers the, of the elite. That's contestable and debatable, Mr. Ofemi. I will I mean, repeat, I mean, uh, I will okay, repeat it. Need to go I will repeat it in relation to every other Mr. state Ofemi, in Nigeria. We, we need to go now. It's <laughs> always a pressure having you. I will repeat uh, it in relation to every <laughs> other state in thank, Nigeria. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ofemi. Always a pleasure having talking talking Thanks to you and sharing in the experience that you've had.